Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2019 Mid-Month General Readings. Thanks for joining us here today. Welcome to everyone, newcomers, returners, uh, uh, my loyal subscribers. Thank you so much for those of you who continue to follow this channel and for taking the time to send in all your comments and feedback and support. And uh, always a thank you to all of my clients out there, regular and new, for the consistent and constant busyness with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. Always an honor and a pleasure. Uh, as most of you who follow me know, if you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can click on the description uh, bar below, the description link below for more info and contact details, or you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage and click on the little about button there. Uh, please feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com i'd be delighted to work with you and turnaround time is pretty good because i do readings full time five to six days a week um, so i work pretty diligently with people's schedules to get them readings as soon as possible and i can usually respond to your initial request uh, in the same day or the first 24 hours with more info and for scheduling we'll just go from there uh, so I look forward to hearing from any of you who are interested. So let's move right into this reading. Uh, forgive me ahead of time if I sound a bit like a, an asthmatic frog. I'm just getting over a bad bronchial thing. And while I'm over the feeling bad part, I still have this residual hoarseness and, you know, that cruddy cough. Tis the season, I guess. So I apologize for uh, sounding kind of raspy. Uh, so let's move right into this reading. Uh, if you know your rising and moon sign, watch those as well. They can always provide additional clarification and a bigger picture because as a lot of you know, uh, general readings uh, are always going to resonate a little differently for everybody watching. All right, this is for the air sign of Aquarius for the remainder of February 2019. Our lovely Aquarians. Let's see what February has in store for you. All right, Aquarius, we begin with the Empress, followed by the Three of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles, followed by the Ace of Pentacles. And from the bottom of the deck, representing overall energy for the remainder of February, we have the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles energy, Aquarius, which represents... Uh, the earth energy part of your life, which is usually the uh, more tangible day-to-day -day aspects of the world we live in. It can often manifest in things like money, finance, property, resources, assets, job, career, etc. Things we can see and touch and feel. It looks like there is an offer or opportunity coming in for a lot of you. That's the overall energy here from the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, knights are the bringers, the deliverers of the tarot. They are knights. They have, uh, they can be very single-minded and focused because their whole lives are centered around missions and quests and maintaining a, a certain code of honor and ethics as well. Typically very fast moving. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest uh, when you look at his other three brother knights. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest because he's governed by earth. Um, but he's very solid, stable, reliable. He will accomplish his mission and quest. He will get the job done, even though he may do it a little slower than the others. Uh, but you'll know by the time he accomplishes it, um, all of it will be done. This is not a person uh, that cuts corners. I have heard the Knight of Pentacles referred to as a slow moving energy, and I don't always necessarily feel that's the case all the time. All of the Knights are fairly fast moving because knights can represent the speed at which situations move. Some of them move faster than others. The knight of wands is fire uh, energy, so he moves quite fast. Uh, the knight of pentacles is slower than, again, his other three brother knights, but he's still a knight, so he still is uh, perhaps faster moving than the conventional civilian. So this knight they're the deliverers, the bringers of the tarot. So they usually represent offers and opportunities. So this is a tangible offer or opportunity coming in. Uh, this is often a card that shows up for job offers or opportunities. Any new uh, offer or opportunity that's coming in that has to deal with uh, practical, tangible aspects of your life or help where resources in dealing with practical, tangible things in your life. But it looks like a lot of you have the opportunity to start something new, a new job, a new career path, perhaps even a new creative or artistic uh, project 
uh, or a business with somebody else. Uh, it's about, and there's a, a, a partnership opportunity here too. I feel like even though there's a lot of new beginning energy here, I feel like there's, I, I feel like whatever this is for those of you watching uh, Aquarians, um, I feel like there's already been work that's going, that's behind this. I don't feel like this new offer or opportunity, this new start um, is just dropping in out of the sky. I feel like there's already been some talk work, perhaps some partnership or even some initial prep work or foundation laying some groundwork that's been done already. Uh, maybe to get to the point where you are now where you're ready to begin or the opportunity or the tangible resources and, and people that you need are in place. But I feel like some work's already been done. And I'm kind of seeing this here in the energy for the middle of the month, the third week of the month, we have the Empress and the Three of Wands. So here's another card, a major arcana card that represents also the start of something new because the Empress represents fertility. Um, and what does fertility really mean? I mean, it can represent actual an actual physical uh, fertility time in terms of conception and pregnancy for those of you who are looking to start a family or add to your family. Uh, it looks like the remainder of February is quite a fertile time for that. For those of you who don't wish that, well, forewarned is forearmed. <laughs> we know how to do that now. Um, but it usually is a sign that represents that the time is right to begin this new beginning. At the very beginning, we're talking about planting the seeds here because we plant the seeds, we cover them up, and we wait oh so impatiently to see that first little bit of green poke its head above the soil. And from there on in, we water it, we nurture it, we take care of it, we watch it grow, we treat it if it gets sick, we prune it if it needs pruning until it grows to its full manifestation, uh, which then it gives back to us and nurtures us. So this is about the very beginning part of that process where we're planting the seeds. It's usually a green light for uh, now is a good time to begin this new thing, to take this new offer opportunity, to get started on it. Now the Empress is clarified by the Three of Wands, which speaks of seeing the beginnings of things manifesting. Uh, and this is another reason why I feel there's already been some work that's gone into whatever this offer or opportunity coming in now, starting now has been. Because the Three of Wands, you've done some work. This is starting to see, uh, not in a huge way, but you're, this is starting to see maybe small goals met, maybe the beginnings of, of uh, manifestations of things. You've already put in some footwork, laid some groundwork, done some work, some homework, some research. Uh, we're still early on in the path. We're only at the three now, uh, but you're you're waiting for your ships to come in. You've done a lot of work sending them out in the first place, and you're waiting to see what the results are uh, for this particular girl or this step of the journey. Again, it's still early days, uh, but you're seeing some small but very positive results. We're seeing things manifesting or feeling very positive about that. So it looks like whatever this new beginning is, you've put the work and the effort into getting it. Now, for some of you, it could be as simple as it's a job offer opportunity and you spent a lot of time maybe putting out your CV, your resume, going out on interviews, etc., cetera, uh, working hard that way. Some of you, you again, are starting something new, a new path, a new project, a new business, something of that sort. Um, you have the Ace of Pentacles here, which sometimes is tangible new beginnings, moving or relocating. For some of you, this might be about uh, property. You might be uh, maybe getting the funds and resources you need to buy your first home or, or you know, get a loan for something of that sort and moving or relocating. <coughs> moving or relocating for a new job or a new business opportunity. It could be that for you but you're beginning to see the results of some of the work that you've already put into it. And the time again looks right. You've done the work to get to this point. Now at or towards the end of February, 2019, we have the three of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. Here's that ace. Aces represent the number one. So they always represent the start of something new. This is a tangible new beginning. You have new beginnings all over the place. Nine of pentacles, an offer or opportunity coming in. The empress, new beginnings, fertility, the time is right to begin. The ace of pentacles, tangible new beginnings, perhaps moving, perhaps relocating, a new job, a new business, or a combination of all the three, a new home, even a new house or receiving, sometimes the Ace of Pentacles can represent receiving uh, maybe a sum of money or resources, perhaps unexpectedly, that enable you to have what you need for this new beginning. It clarifies the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is the partnership card. Compromise, negotiation, partnership, collaboration, working with uh, 
it can it can be just working with another person although typically the three of pentacles i usually get it's a three too it could be three people or larger because it often represents a group of people there's a partnership here and everybody agrees that there's one common cause one common goal one vision that you're having um, everybody is agreeing that they all want to work towards the same thing so it's about getting everybody together and everybody putting forth their skills and ideas and everything um, to figure out how to manifest this in reality. Not everybody may agree on how to actually work on uh, this project or this vision. Uh, and not everybody may even like each other, but this is a card uh, of partnership and collaboration, which fundamentally represents a sense of compromise and negotiation. Okay, what do we agree is the most important thing, the ultimate vision? Okay, give a little bit, take a little bit here, because the ultimate goal is to create whatever this is that you want, that you're working towards. So partnership, collaboration here about this tangible new beginning. Some of you, again, you're, you may be starting up uh, a new business, because I'm hearing that for some of you. Um, and I'm hearing something about actual property or homes. I don't know, you may be partnering, some of you may be partnering with a few people, a handful of people or, or several people to buy a piece of property or a house with the intent of, you know, uh, like going in and flipping it and then use, selling it or using it as a rental income. Uh, and you're partnering together on that, uh, uh, which is perhaps beginning a new career path of a business of doing this, a partnership where it's kind of focused around uh, buying properties, fixing them up, and then selling them or, you know, renting or leasing them out uh, as a way to... Uh, you know, eventually have secondary and tertiary sources of passive income. So some of you, I feel, are, are doing something like that. I'm actually getting actual property vibe here. Some of you, it's, you know, a specific job uh, or work path. Uh, some of you, it may be a project of another kind. The point is, the details and specifics will vary because this is a general reading and there's thousands of you watching. But it's a new opportunity. Spirit is showing that the time is right. And this new opportunity that's coming in it's actually coming in because of the work you've done to actually bring it in. There's a wonderful, lovely collaboration. At the very least, if it's just going to another job or starting a new job, you really are going to like the people that you work with. You're going to connect well to um, towards whatever projects or ultimate visions and goals you have. It looks very, very promising. Uh, there's a lot of lovely colors here with all these pentacle cards, green and gold. It's quite lush and promises. It looks uh, like the potential for it to be quite abundant uh, if you work hard at it and invest that time uh, and compromise and negotiate in this teamwork and collaboration. Uh, it looks like it's going to uh, be quite lovely in how it works out for you, particularly in a financial and material uh, way. I think that's it. So Aquarius, that pretty much wraps up your February 2019 mid-month general reading. Uh, I hope you find it helpful and useful and that you will continue to as the month plays itself out. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can click on the description link below for contact info. You can also go to my YouTube channel's homepage, click on the little about button there. I do a wide variety of readings of all different types and lengths and all the main areas of life. Uh, love and romance, of course, compatibility charting, uh, career work and finance, investment readings. Uh, I do gift readings and I also do six and 12 month overviews, which take a look at what's coming in your life over the next six or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Uh, so there's a variety of things for you to choose from. And you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Iris Gypsy and that link is also included. Instant Go is a, is a great little app if you want quick answers to the, the faster, simpler questions. If it's a situation that's uh, fairly complex or uh, you know you want more of a traditional intensive look at it, uh, then email me and uh, we will set something up for you. So Aquarius, I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the March 2019 general readings. Until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.